In this video, we cover the PIX Insight process ACDNR, which stands for Adaptive Contrast Driven Noise Reduction. This process is the first alphabetically of all processes, and you find it also under Noise Reduction ACDNR. This is how it looks like when you open it up. There's a multitude of processes in PIX Insight which have to do with noise reduction. So what really makes ACDNR unique is that you can apply the noise reduction separately for lightness and for chrominance, so the colors. Which means if you have a mono picture, you can simply deselect the chrominance and you can only work with the lightness. This gives you the possibility to attack the noise very specifically. ACDNR can also be used in combination with other noise reduction processes. And you would rather use the other noise reduction processes before you use ACDNR. And ACDNR might more be to actually remove some re residuals which the other noise reduction techniques have not removed yet. ACDNR should never be used in a linear state of the picture, but always when you already stretched it, so in a non-linear one. With that said, let's go now to the applied part of this video. So what I chose is this picture here. It's simply a star field. I created a preview. Let's look at it. And what you can see is that it has quite some noise in it, and we want to get rid of that. And just for the fun of it, I let ACDNR run against noise exterminator. In my mind, it is clear that it will not perform as well but we will see to which extent. This picture, this is a duplicate which I named Noise Exterminator. So let's now run Noise Exterminator over it. And here we go. So let's look now at the preview and you can see the noise is completely gone. So this is a huge difference from here to here. This is our benchmark. This is, to my knowledge, the best way how to remove noise in PIX inside. Now let's see what we can do with AC DNR. So we have here another clone, and now I'm going to show you how we use it. So first of all, as you can see, there are different tabs for lightness and for chrominance. We want to use both, so we apply it. Also, when you have stars, you should use the lightness mask to protect the stars. Again, you have to do that on both. So how do you do that? You click on Lightness Mask. You go all the way down here and you click on Preview. It grays out everything now. You open the preview. So now you can actually see how the stars are covered and what else is protected. So we can play now here with the midtones, for example, and just ensure that we only protect the stars and not also the rest where we want to get rid of the noise. We can even, if we go with the shadows a little bit up, we can ensure even more that really only the major stars are covered. That looks good. So we go out here of the preview. We go out here of the preview. We go to chrominance and we also select the lightness mask. As you can see, the numbers down here are exactly the same, so you don't have to adjust the lightness mask again. It will be good for both tabs. Now for the rest with the standard deviation, this actually tells the noise removal program how big this noise is. And usually you would go from the default 1.5 to about 2.5. That will be the maximum. I choose that now. With the amount down here, if you choose one, then actually only the noise removed picture is taken. If you choose 90 as the default is, 90% of the noise removed pictures are taken and 10% of the original one. And this makes it a tiny little bit smoother. So I would recommend to keep it like that. Next come the iterations. So this is how many times actually the whole noise removal cycle should be done. We can easily go here a little bit more aggressive, but I would not go with more than about four to five iterations. The rest you can actually leave as default. We go to chrominance and we do exactly the same, 2.5 here. 
We go down here again to 90%. We can also go to five iterations. And that's it. And with that, we execute it. Okay, took around two minutes. So surprise, surprise, let's see what we have here. Okay, and here we go. So let's compare it. If we compare it to the original one, it's much better now. You see all this noise is now much more blurry, not that hard anymore. It really did remove the noise. And if we look at the stars, they actually even look nicer, but also definitely not in any way blurred out. So it's definitely better than it was before. But that said, and again, this was totally expected, it's absolutely no match at all to the noise exterminator. So I hope this was helpful. If it was, please subscribe to my channel because I will do each and every process in PixInsight. This is the first one alphabetically and I will go down to see and I will not leave one process out. And with that, see you next time and clear skies.